Now, the uh, most inconvenient thing about Vim is that you need to learn commands. Let's go check out some of the most common commands. Uh, there is escape. We talked about it. No matter where you are, press escape and you are sure that you're in command mode. Uh, you can use I or uh, A if you want to enter the input mode, where I is for insert and A is for append, uh, which brings you after the current cur cursor position. O is also convenient. It opens a new line in input mode. And colon WQ is for write and quit. Do notice the command is colon WQ, not colon QW, because you can't quit and then write. Uh, also useful is colon Q exclamation mark, which will quit without saving anything. That's what you want to do uh, if you really are not sure. And the only thing you know is that you want to get out of here without messing anything up. DD is common. It deletes the current line. And YY will yank, which is copy the current line. And no matter if you've just deleted or yanked it, you can use P, P to paste it uh, to get it back at the current position of the cursor. V can be useful for visual mode. Press V, then you move your arrow keys and you can make a selection. And after making the selection, you can uh, delete it using D or uh, copy it using Y. Also very convenient is U. U for undo the last operation. Because if you are learning Vim, you will notice that every now and then something magical happens. And you want to get out of the magical environment, well, U for undo. Control R is convenient as well. That will redo the last operation. Uh, so if you uh, have undone something uh, too much, use Control R to get it back. That's not all. There's a bit more. Like GG, which will bring you to the top of the document, or uppercase D, which will go to the end of the document, or slash text, which will search forward uh, for text, or question mark text, which will search backwards for text. Uh, then there is carrot, which will bring you to the start of uh, the current line, or dollar, which will bring the cursor to the end of the line. There's also W, which will move to the next word. And one of my favorites is column percent %s slash old slash new slash g, which is a global substitute. It will change all occurrences of the text old with new. Let's go check this out. So I'm using vim, vim demo, uh, dot txt. And uh, well, here we are uh, on the top. And I am going to use O for open a new line, just because I wanted to show you that my cursor is one line lower. And uh, what do I type? Uh, I don't know. This is what really matters in demos like this. Oh, this is a simple modification. I'm just going to use my arrow keys to uh, get uh, just behind the, 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 the backslash and I'm using backspace to remove it. Now, uh, let's go for some uh, something more intelligent. I'm using YY. What is YY? Well, that is yank uh, or a copy. And then uh, I'm using P to paste. Uh, do notice that you can do that as many times as you want, but you don't need to forget to press escape to get to command mode. Hey, what I also like, and which is not on the slide, is colon SE number. That is showing line numbers. Uh, that can be convenient if you want to talk about a specific line. Now I'm going to use DD. DD is deleting a line. And instead of deleting individual lines, uh, you can use V for visual mode. Look at the lower left corner, which is showing that right now uh, I have a visual mode in which I can uh, move my arrow keys and uh, press D, for instance, to delete everything or you to undo uh, if you did not want to uh, delete it anyway. Good, let me go uh, to the top of the document using uh, G, and I need to use the G twice, so GG. And uh, next, I can show you my favorite command, colon uh, percent S uh, slash don't slash do slash G. Do you see how nicely Vim is highlighting it? And now you can see that everywhere where we had don't, uh, we now have do. And I think uh, I'm happy with this. So I'm pressing escape, colon, uh, WQ exclamation mark to write, quit, and get out of here.
Now, there is so much more that can be done in a Vim environment, but I don't want to scare you. I think this is enough for now. Uh, that's one of the big risks for people who are getting started with Vim. Uh, information overload. If I may give you an advice, practice the commands that you have seen on the slides. Uh, these are my favorites. And apart from these commands, uh, the other ones that I know, I don't use them that often. And there's one more thing that I want to show you, and that is Vim Tutor. Uh, what is that? Well, this is your online course in Vim. Start reading and just do what uh, the command is telling you. Uh, like J, for instance, to bring your cursor down and L to bring it to the right. And then you are in lesson 1.2. Uh, it's a good investment of your time to use the Vim tutor uh, a little bit. Uh, probably if you uh, use it for half an hour or so, uh, you have learned enough about Vim to get yourself started. But hey, in the end, use whatever editor uh, you, you like. You're more comfortable with Nano? That's okay as well, even if uh, that means that you are probably going to miss all of the powerful features of Vim.